Hello everyone, good afternoon. Uh, welcome once again to our uh, discussion for today. So we will solve uh, some examples on the derivative of inverse hyperbolic functions. So our example number one, uh, differentiate the inverse hyperbolic cosine of x squared plus one with respect to x. Okay? So for our solution, so let us let, no, let's let y be equal to inverse uh, hyperbolic cosine of x squared plus 1. Okay, so differentiating both sides, so we have the derivative of y with respect to x so we have to differentiate this with respect to x equal to so the derivative of this uh, function also with respect to x so inverse hyperbolic cosine of x squared plus 1 Okay, so you may put this inside the parenthesis or you may not. So that's all right. Okay, just to be consistent with what uh, we have done. So let's put this inside the parenthesis. So it means, means that we're differentiating this whole thing here with respect to x. Okay, then from the formula. So if you can still remember no, from our discussion initial discussion about this topic we have the formula at the derivative of inverse hyperbolic of x with respect to x is equal to 1 over square root of x squared minus 1 but to make sure uh, let us use another formula related to this one uh, to just to generalize this uh, formula class so we can also use this because sometimes it's not only x here so we have to generalize this formula so we have the derivative of the hyperbolic inverse hyperbolic cosine of u with respect to x so if we're given something like this so this is equal to 1 over square root of u squared minus 1 times the derivative of u with respect to x okay and another um, notation class so you might be confused now if you see another other uh, sources so sometimes it can be it is written in this manner so the derivative of the inverse so the negative one here indicates inverse each here indicates hyperbolic no same with all this of u with respect to x okay so it's also like this 1 over square root of u squared minus 1 times the derivative of u derivative of u with respect to x so all these uh, these are the same no? these uh, different formulas are uh, referring to the same uh, formula Okay, so using this uh, formula here, so let's identify no, from our given, what is our u? So for, for our given, we have our u is equal to, so inverse hyperbolic cosine of so this is our u so our u is equal to x squared plus 1 
Then our derivative of u with respect to x is equal to so derivative of this you apply the sum rule so derivative of the first term using the power rule so you have 2x times the derivative of x with respect to x is equal to 1 derivative of this constant 1 is equal to 0 so that's why derivative of u with respect to x is equal to 2x all right so using the uh, this formula so we have so derivative of y with respect to x is equal to so uh, we also have to use the formula of the derivative of inverse uh, hyperbolic cosine so what is the formula for the inverse hyperbolic cosine so the formula is derivative of inverse hyperbolic cosine of u with respect to x is equal to 1 divided by okay so we have it here already uh, square root of u squared minus 1 so times the derivative of okay so derivative of u with respect to x so you can use either no either of this uh but we have written this already so using the formula uh, sorry class it's already uh, written it's already here so using the formula so we have here inverse of this this is equivalent to 1 over square root of our u is equal to this our u squared is equal to x square sorry our u is x squared plus 1 so our u is x squared plus 1 and then since from the formula this is u squared so you have to square this also then minus 1 then times the derivative of u oh, derivative of u so our u is uh, x squared plus 1 with respect to x or since we have this already so you may substitute this directly okay so dy over dx is equal to 1 over square root of x squared plus 1 squared minus 1 so this is equal to 2x all right and this is equal to okay i'll continue it here so this is 1 divided by square root of so you can expand this one so this will be x to the fourth the formula is if you have u squared uh, sorry u plus v squared is equal to u squared plus twice the product it means that first term is squared so x squared squared is x to the fourth then the next term here uh, this is plus so this is also, also plus so twice the product of first term and third term as first term and second term so x squared times one is x squared twice so times two so that will be 2x squared okay then plus square the second term one squared that is still one okay then you have here minus one and times 2x all right so we have so we have here positive one We have positive 1, then we have negative 1, so that is equal to 0. So, therefore, we have dy over dx equal to, 
so two time one times two x so that would be two x divided by so this becomes uh, square root of x squared plus uh, sorry x to the fourth plus two x squared okay and this is equal to uh, 2x divided by so we can rewrite this you can factor out common the common is x squared so factor that out and you have x squared plus 2 okay and then square root and you can rewrite that as 2 times so this can be written as 2 times x divided by so uh, this can be written as square root of x squared times square root of x squared plus 2 so we know that uh, square root of x squared is x and you have times square root of x squared x squared plus 2 okay and you have uh, x squared at the numerator uh, sorry x at the numerator you have x at the denominator so x divided by x so that's equal to 1 so therefore our uh, dy over dx dy over dx is equal to 2 divided by square root of x squared plus 2 okay so that's our this is our final answer all right so hope you were able to follow the solution class uh, by the way no need to write this one it's already done here okay so this is uh, redundant okay so thank you very much and i hope you uh, were able to follow the, the steps in solving this problem uh, hope to see you again in the next video another example okay thank you uh, bye